Hello everybody, this is All's House Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles 2. In the previous episode, Raz, as usual, being his reckless self, got both himself and Kai into some rather deep shit when she ended up taking a bullet to the leg. And we ended up having to rescue him while also having to uh, deal with a... A uh, squad? Platoon? We had to deal with three tanks. Thankfully, though, uh, Riley did manage to come up with some anti-tank grenades, which I actually looked into it via the R&D facility. Oh. And I was right, it was actually an, in, in the, 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 an entirely new form of mortar that was made specifically for anti-armor. And it's also why it had some very good aim for a mortar. But it's also why it took more than one shot to take out any infantry, because it has a severe drop in anti-personnel. But I digress. Uh, also... Da -da 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 -da, taking a look at the ZM-SG-1, the sniper rifle we captured, I really don't find it to be worth it. Comparatively speaking, to say the LF Wasp number one R, yes, it is a massive anti personnel up, but it is also a massive drop in range and a fairly decent drop in aim. So, honestly, I don't find it to be worth using. So, I'm just not going to. Let's see, do we get anything new in? No, well, no, yeah, we got improved powder. But that was from some time ago. Uh, nothing new to develop in uh, R&D. And nothing new in the mess hall. So let's just hit up the training field. Good to see you again. Because we have a now show me ton of uh, XP to work with. Let's see, let's get the new order from engineers. Because as we learned in the previous episode, orders are far more powerful than we gave them credit for, or rather, than I gave them credit for. And it looks like we can get everybody else up to level 8. Except for the Lancers, but, meh. So, Snipers and Scouts get a new battle potential, Engineers get a new order, great. Just do You've left... What did we get? Emergency repair. This order restores a set amount of HP to one vehicle. Okay, useful. Now, what did our snipers get? Let's see. Extra shot. They can occasionally follow up an attack by loading one more round of ammunition. Not exactly sure what they mean by that. Backup sniping. All attack parameters enjoy a boost when shooting with no one else nearby. Okay. Backup sniping, covert snipe. Succeeding in a sneak attack causes their attack power to increase. Not bad. And our scouts. Let's see, first aid boost. First aid boost. Skilled assassin. If able to successfully land an attack without being noticed first, attack power and evasion both rise. Nocturnal. Okay. Power scout. Setting five or more enemies. Yep. Soul operation, having no allies, increases defense. First aid boost. And nocturnal. Alright, well, don't have any more XP that we can work with. I mean, we do, but... Done. But, with nothing else, let us return to book mode. And continue the story. <sighs> Can't wait to see how Raz gets chewed out for this. Miles, think you can get the Hoffen running? I can't say for sure. Some parts got so hot the metal started warping. I don't think I can fix it here. We should get her back to base while she can still move. The Hoffen's been working harder than any of us. I might have pushed her too far. Well, do what you can and we'll get moving. 
Yes, sir. Raz, how's Kai? It was a pretty clean shot. Sounds like it'll close right up with a couple stitches. She only lost so much blood because it nicked an artery. But they got it under control. Oh, man. I was scared shitless back there. If Kai died because of me, I... But now you know how we feel. I... what? Every time you run off and nearly get yourself killed, that's what it's like for the rest of us. Oh. <laughs> really? Afraid so. I can't believe Kai actually got hit, though. She's always been the best of us. With guns or even with fists. Where's she got room for all that strength, anyway? She's barely ten stones soaking wet. Honestly, I didn't think there was a soldier in the Empire who could leave a scratch on her. Hey, uh, I don't know about you, but saying that kind of stuff usually gets me punched. Don't worry, I've got the radio. <laughs> Should have known Mr. Valedictorian's got it covered. Thanks, Claude. You're welcome. Here, I brought you some cold water. We need to keep you hydrated. It might be a while before we get back to base. Oh. Thanks. You look so pale. Must have lost a lot of blood. How do you feel? I'm fine. Better than before, anyway. What are they up to? Probably no good. Someone needs to keep an eye on them. <laughs> True. You really have to watch out for Raz. I don't know. Claude gets kind of crazy sometimes, too. Though you'd never guess it by looking at him. No, I could see it. It's always the quiet ones, right? It's nice talking like this. Feels like we're kids again. I've changed a lot since then, though. In a good way? Who knows? I hope so. You've changed, too. Never thought I'd see you in the army. I mean, you were always athletic, but now you're Deadeye Kai. War changes everything. Piece by piece. Yeah. And what about Claude? Huh? Not all change is bad. Especially in his case. Yeah, okay, he's not who he used to be. I'll give you that. That was quick. I didn't expect you to just admit it. Well, I've grown up too. Another change for the better. Tell that to Claude. <laughs> what, and actually deal with my feelings? Like some kind of rational, stable adult? Yeah. Everyone's changed. But in some ways, we're all still the same. Hmm? Well, glad to say there aren't too many hard feelings about, about all this. God, I can feel my clothes sticking to me. I'd kill for a shower. Sorry, Riley. Not until the mission is over. <sighs> I know. Just let me complain a little. God, I need a nap. Doesn't have to be cushy. I just want to get to sleep without hearing gunfire for once. Yeah. I know what you mean. I'll go... repair the Huffin. Whoa, Miles, you can't even walk straight. Keep it together. Everyone's at their limit. We should relax while we still can. Yeah, you'd better get some rest. We need to resupply for our next deployment. Claude. Ugh. Oh, boy. I know. We'll move out the moment we're done restocking. The Hoffman's out of commission, though. I'll go on foot. Don't. Huh? 
You don't have to. The operation's over. Wait, what? The Empire's retreating. They're abandoning the Zeke Fall line. That means... We... We did it! We... won? We broke the Zeke Fall line? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we got him, man! We beat him with our own two hands! We fought to the finish and came out on top! Mission complete. You were all amazing. Hmm. This is far from over. The Empire's retreat marks the end of the Battle of Ziegfall. A narrow but decisive victory for the Federation. Although our casualties are innumerable, our supplies are all but exhausted. A relief effort already in the works and morale is still high on the front line tonight the camp is alive with glory and triumph as we celebrate a win that will go down in history but tomorrow we march advancing further and further into the heart of the empire one step closer to the imperial capital one step closer to the end of the war Chapter 5, Behind the Front Lines. Oh boy, new skirmish. We still haven't actually taken on Your the last- perseverance at Ziegfall has earned you this medal. It was a tough fight, but we both made it through. Ziegfall Service Medal Awarded. Let's see, Enhanced Bullets. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Yeah! I'm Simon Bale, and I'm all set to tear some sorry suckers apart! I could have sworn we'd already gotten him. Maybe that was a failed recording? Eh, who cares. Call me Odin. Oh, the roster says Thomas Kevin? Uh, uh, that man is long dead. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> Lily Ashley, at your service. I wouldn't get too close, though. I've got a curse. <laughs> <sighs> Why do we get all the crazies? Let's see, Claude's potential self-conscious has changed into Pledge of Courage. Riley's pyrophobia has changed into Absolution. Soldier's preferences have changed. Tainted decal for the Hoffen. Osbrook emblem. Well, now we gotta head to headquarters and check all that out. Ah, uh, should have just gone through the story first. Oh. Ah well. Let's see. Nope. 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 And no. Nope. Nope. And nope. No, and no. Just had to check. Okay. The fresh... Ah, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's see... Being near Claude increases her attack power. Okay. Now, if only I could see Claude's potential. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, what is it I want to look for? Oh, wait, here we are. Pledge of Courage. Being near Riley gives him confidence, increasing his anti-personal attack power and defense. Alright. 
Enhanced Bullets. Bullets made with armor-piercing capabilities, modified for greater tank penetration. That might actually be useful for him, considering he's, you know, a tank. And I think I'll give those other bullets the Enhanced Powder to Raz. Or Improved Powder. I'm surprised neither Raz nor Kai had anything change. Guess I'm well. But I guess we can't all be getting super powerful. Alright, let's continue this story. October. The color of the leaves is changing with the season. Mother Nature gave us a beautiful autumn. The Federation's victory at Ziegfall was a moment of triumph, and we remain on schedule to reach the capital. Unfortunately, a spell of bad weather trailing behind us brought our long supply train to a grinding halt. After months of tireless combat, the Ranger Corps is now on standby. And instead of launching a swift counterattack, the Empire has shown no signs of movement. It's possible they've chosen to shore up their defenses in the capital. Either way, for now we wait. And while we have this reprieve, we may as well enjoy it. If the Empire really is anything like Russia, then chances are they're just waiting for a massive snowstorm to come in and slow us all down to nothing. So quiet. It was until now. What, does Mr. Invincible get bored unless he's spraying bullets everywhere? I didn't say that. It's just... We're so close to the capital and yet so far. That's all Raz was trying to say. Exactly. Winter's only a couple months away, so why are we dragging our asses? He makes a valid point. Months? This war will be over in days. Oh, please. Ain't gonna happen. We're only blocked off from the mountains. The road north is wide open. All we need is a steady supply train. Then we can push all the way to the capital. That's true, I guess. When's the bad weather gonna clear up anyway? I'm observant, not psychic. I can't see that far off. Then again. What's wrong? It's too early in the season for rain clouds to be gathering in the mountains. It doesn't usually get so stormy up there until much later in the year. Uh, hmm. Better up there than down here. Last thing I want is to get rained on while I'm sitting on standby. Enough jibber jabber. What we need are the three Bs. Bacon, beer, and babes. And we need them ASAP. Our rations are so small, I'm wasting away into a mummy. Says the guy who stole my bacon this morning. Well, it looked like you weren't gonna finish, so I ate it for you. I was enjoying my bread, not wolfing it all down. Oh, look! There it is! <laughs> So that's Einhemt. Looks like a nice town. <laughs> Raz can finally get his three Bs. All right, bacon, beer, and babes. But you'll have to foot the bill yourselves. This is still Imperial territory. Be on your best behavior. Ah, uh, Raz. As predictable as ever. Huh. Lot of hustle and bustle for a small town. 
Luckily, there wasn't any collateral damage. They didn't even put up a fight. So everything's still up and running. Like nothing happened. Sucks we gotta buy our own stuff, though. How tight-fisted can you get? The army can't sign off on luxuries like alcohol and meat. Not even sweets? Matt, you're going to pay me back double for that bacon. Otherwise, I'm taking some of your bread from every meal. Fine, you win. I'll bust open my piggy bank and buy out all the bacon in town. Hey, Miles, you can come with. I'm good. I was gonna go look for tank parts with Claude. Apparently, some of the shops here stock Imperial tech. Nothing else. Empire knows how to make a tank. <sighs> Just get over here, you moron. Huh? Jeez, come on. Even Raz can read the situation, Miles. Come on already. Huh? Wait, Claude! I'll make sure they don't get into too much trouble. Huh? Is Kai really that hungry? <gasps> oh, Rags, wait! Where are you going, boy? After sitting for so long, he probably wants to go on a walk. That makes two of us. Yeah. Shall we get going then? Go where? After Rex. I don't want him scaring the townsfolk. Uh, of course. We're kind of his owners after all. Huh? I can get down myself. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry. Hurry up. We're gonna lose sight of him. Oh, right. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you playing matchmaker. Ah, shut it. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want to give them some alone time, too. Yeah, I can't expect them to forget the past. But it makes me feel awkward just watching them. Yeah. Not that I'm making any assumptions. I just hope this doesn't blow up in our faces. Well, they're not the only two who get some alone time. Huh? What do you mean? Damn it, you can be dead sometimes. I meant that you and me can, you know... Hey guys, what are you talking about? Never mind, forget it. Uh, Raz! Where are you going? The butcher's back here! What do you mean you're all out? Are you refusing service to the Federation Army? Sorry about him. He's got low blood sugar. Calm down, Raz. They're obviously sold out. Not a single piece of jerky? He's got to be holding out on us. I mean, it'd be the sensible thing to do, because, you know, war, no telling when you're going to get resupplied. Got to save some for your own family. I'll ask if there are any other butchers in town. Mystery solved. Someone bought out their entire stock. What kind of sneaky rat bastards did that? Another squad. One that got here before us. Just give it up, Raz. I'll settle for bread instead of bacon. Mm. Fluffy white bread. Fresh out of the oven. Yeah, something tells me you're not going to be getting that either. does love kids. Such a good boy. Yeah. It takes a rare breed to make it into special ops. For dogs and humans. Wait, hold on. You're talking combat support? Oh, you didn't know? 
Ragnarok isn't a pet. He's our squad mate. Has his own rank and everything. No way. Karen thinks he used to be a rescue dog trained up in the northern mountains. But when we found him wandering around our camps, he was just a stray. So we took him in. Pretty soon, he started helping out with rescue missions. It wasn't long before he became our first official canine unit. Wow, you're a good, good, good boy, Rex. He's the bestest boy. Oh, look at the big doggy. Mommy, can I pet him? Ah! Are you okay? She's all right. Come on, honey, don't cry. Can you stand up? <laughs> I'm sorry. My daughter didn't mean to bother you. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Apologize to the nice soldiers. Now. But, Mom, you said I shouldn't talk to the Federation. What? Uh, that's... that's not what I... Uh, I said no talking to strangers. <laughs> Let's go, Riley. I guess we're unwanted guests here. I mean, you are invading their country. The Federation may have taken the town peacefully, but to them, we're still foreign invaders. I knew that coming in, but... It's rough. It could be worse. They could be throwing rocks and bricks at you. Come on, Rax. Let's go, boy. Also, is it just me, or does it kind of sound like Ragnarok's barking into, like, a cup or something? It's got a bit of an echo to it. Oh, hold up, Claude. Do you think this shop has those parts Miles wanted? A lot of story development stuff. Not that I mind, really. I do enjoy story. Must be the shop Miles was talking about. Wow, they've got everything. Oh wow, it's all made in the Empire. Craftsmanship is unbelievable. Come on in. Oh, pardon me. Welcome, sir and madam. I must say, you have quite the discerning eye. We don't get high quality goods like this too often, especially this far west. How'd you get your hands on Imperial Tech? Black market? More or less. Let's call them uh, unofficial channels. The parts themselves are legitimate, of course. The Empire was in such a hurry to retreat, they left all sorts of cargo lying around. Hope he doesn't get in trouble for this. Uh, sure, but selling it out in the open? Oh, I'm just skimming a little off the top. This junk's a drop in the Imperial bucket. Well, one army's trash is another's treasure. I'll swing back later with my driver. And I'll be here when you're ready to buy. Thanks. See ya. Oh, wait! Your squad isn't heading north, is it? Uh, probably? Riley, do not give out military secrets like that. Most likely, yes. Damn it, Claude, you're supposed to be the smart one. Then you should watch out for the Winter Witch. It's an old legend around these parts. Come winter time, the North grows so cold that everything ice is over. Everything. Horses can't move, guns won't fire. Frozen in time by the Winter Witch's curse. So what, it's a big blizzard? That's fine. This war will be over before the first frost. Besides, it's just another fairy tale. No, it won't, and I'm 90% certain that it isn't. All stories have a kernel of truth. The Imperial Army's no stranger to the blizzards of the North. That's true. That's that's kind of one of the big things is why the Russians were able to beat back the Germans in World War II. The Germans were completely and utterly unprepared for the Winter Frost, but the, the, uh, the Siberian troopers that were sent after them were. And they'd sooner fight the entire Federation than be caught in the Winter Witch's Claws. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the heads up. Don't mention it. 
I just like you two. Seeing a happy couple in wartime reminds me of when I was young and in love. Uh, hold on. It's not like we're dating or anything. Ah, no need to be shy. It's not like it's against the rules. War makes you forget about what's really important. With death all around, it's easy to forget how to live. <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Peace and love. That's what this world needs. Settle down. Raise a family. Grow old together. I told you it's not like that! All right. <laughs> Whatever you say. Oh, this isn't awkward. Hope you lovebirds live happily ever after. Fiddles for Vendettas. Oh boy. Unreal. All the bread in town, too? I don't know who bought out the entire bakery, but I will find them, and I will kill them. Kai, over there! It's the food bandits! Them. They're from Squad F! Damn it! Give me back my meat! Hand over that bread now! Oh, ah! What are you doing? We're on your side! Oh no! They're fighting each other! Claude! You gotta stop them! Stand your ground, brave knights. Don't let them take a single slice of Lieutenant Victor's bacon! Ah, oh, boy. What are you idiots thinking stacking the bread that high? It's going to get squished! Hey! Get your paws off my ham! And my jerky! Enough! Cease this at once! Crystal, did you order this mountain of food? Uh, well, yes, ma'am. <laughs> What's going on here, Minerva? Your jackbooted thugs tried to rob us of our supplies. You robbed us first. Only because you jackholes bought everything out in the first place. All of it was purchased out of my own pocket. Is it a crime to support local businesses? No, but I'd say it is kind of a crime to take all the supplies for yourself when there are other squads who need them too. It is when other people go hungry because of it. Where's that covered in your code of chivalry? Not only that, it may stir up anti-federation sentiments from the townspeople. I'll have to report this to HQ. N now see here! Ha ha ha! Got you on the defensive, eh, Minerva? <clears throat> it, it's true. A knight must show compassion. I'll allow Squad E to challenge us for it. You're no knight. You're as much a knight as I am a nobleman. We're both proud warriors, you and I. Let's settle this in a mock duel. On the off chance that you win, we'll share our food. Assuming that could happen in a thousand years. You're gonna get your ass kicked. And if we win, to the victor belong the spoils! Oh, Minerva, these brutes aren't worthy of your mercy. Oi. Said it once, I'll say it again, Crystal. Nobody likes an ass kisser. They took my bread, Claude. My fluffy bread. I'm taking it back. Fine. But if we play along with Minerva's game, we're playing to win. Squad E, suit up. Hell yeah! I'll show him how far a man will go for meat! Okay, so we have unlocked the next mission. But we've only got about 25 minutes left, and I feel like we've had way too many hour-long episodes in a row. But I would still like to show off at least some combat. So, I'm thinking, let's take on the skirmishes, 
that uh, we didn't get to take on before, or that we just didn't. That way we at least get some combat in this episode. Uh, should note, I have never played either of these skirmishes, so got no idea what we've got uh, to deal with going in. See, enemy base, yada yada. Huh, no intel whatsoever. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, let's toss Welkin in. I know it didn't right, go let's move out. too well last time with his terrible aim, but I'm willing to give him a second chance. Lock and load. So you got Raz, got got Kai, Riley, obviously. Let's see, Alicia, toss her there. This ought to be good. Rosie over there. Don't know if we'll have any tanks to worry about, so I'll toss in Largo. All set, boss. And let's see, Allard. All right, here we go. And who else? I don't know. Another scout. All right, I'll do something out there. Eliminate the enemy. Squad E, move out! Let's see, okay, we got a scout and a shock trooper over here, sniper way over here, we got a tank over here. Let's see, enemy base camps over there. Okay, well, in that case, I think I'm going to start off with the Hoffin. Try to take out these two. Advancing. And maybe get a little bit of scouting along the way. Okay, they're taken care of. There's that guy over there. There they are. They're in range. Okay, we got a scout and a lancer over there. Okay, that is not good. I think I'm gonna take Alicia around this way and try to take out that lancer. Don't gotta worry about intercept fire from that sniper, because they don't do that. Concentrate your firepower. They're in range. Gotta focus. Go. Alright. Gonna end her turn, then I'm gonna think I'm gonna take her up again. My turn? Okay. Don't stop now. Fight through. And use a grenade to take this guy out. Come on. While also capturing their camp. My wounds are gone. They're good. We got a guy over there, and we got a couple guys over there. Looks like a shock trooper and a scout. That's fine. I'm gonna take the Hoffin. Advancing. Have him move forward to eliminate the enemy tank. Right there. Ugh. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Advancing. Fire. They like these soldiers after all. Beat this. No 
No point in going after that scout, at least not in my opinion. I think what I will do, however, is have Raz take command. Alright! Get behind me! And let's take along with us Allard and Rosie. Watch my back. Got your back. Just hold out Watch my back. There. Fine, lead the way. The tank taken care of, we can head down this way. It's tough being popular. Let and learn, kiddos. I well, may as well take this guy out. You mess with the wrong girl. Done and done. Hmm. No, that wouldn't quite work. Besides, she's low on AP. I was considering using a defensive order on Alicia and just get her running into the enemy camp. But she's already low on AP, as it is. And probably wouldn't make it in there to begin with. And I don't think Rosie's got enough AP to reach the camp to begin with. Well, only one way to find out. One extra, well, no, even with an extra CP, she wouldn't have enough AP. Is that all? Go down! Probably gonna get a B rank on this. It's tough being popular. But so be it. Damn, this is a drag. This camp is mine. Open a path. Enemy camp captured. Taken the enemy base. Mission was a success. Oh, nope. Still got an A rank. And apparently we took down an ace. Let's see, it was a rifle. Was it one of those scouts? I don't know. I generally don't pay attention, but hey. Oh well. Take a little bit of time, just look at that new rifle that we got. Because I don't think we actually have an enemy rifle. Okay. And not worth it. Yeah, no, especially not with aim like that. 
Okay, well... Guess I'll end it off here for today. I know we didn't, like, get a whole lot of action in this, except for that one skirmish, but like I said, we've had way too many hour-long episodes uh, with this lately, and I kind of wanted to just do a, a bit of a shorter one. Plus, I'm not sure if we'd be able to fit it into under an hour, well, this mission. Uh, so, yeah. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play. And I forgot to go over this yesterday, so I'll go over it today, but we are currently at 7 votes. 3 for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, 2 for Prey 2017, 1 for Dragon Age Origins Awakening, and 1 for Yakuza 0. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.